Hi, this is Majin Onin. Here's my review for Brightest Day number 8. Uh, there's going to be some spoiler warnings, so uh, if you haven't read this book, you know, you're going to want to come back later. Now, with this one, we're primarily dealing with the uh, Martian Manhunter and uh, the Hawks. And um, it actually starts off with a couple pages just tying up loose end with Dead Man with um, a Hawk and Dove. Basically, Dead Man goes, uh, has to go to uh, Hal Jordan, and Dove goes along for the ride. Uh, poor Hawk, he's left all by his lonesome. Now, here we're dealing with the uh, aftermath. Uh, Martian Manhunter heals her, and he basically is trying to figure out what's going on. So, um, basically she lets him into his mind, so this way he can see what happened to her. Now, here we have the big battle, which is actually kind of short, and surprisingly... You know, considering how savage the White Lantern, I'm sorry, the White Martians were supposed to be, this Green Martian just rips her a new one. Um, maybe she watched too much um, Jersey, Jersey Shore or something like that, and she uh, lost her edge. But anyways, um, Martian Manhunter realizes, hey, there's uh, another Green one, and he kind of freaks out by it. Then we go over to uh, the Hawk, Hawk Man and Hawk Girl storyline. Now, the lion people are pretty much freaked out because, you know, we had the white light emanating from Hawkman and basically cured all of their wounds. And, um, Lion over here basically takes him on a, uh, takes him on a walk. Along the way, when the lion people gets dropped from the sky, and as you can see, it's kind of gory. And he basically explains that's what happens to people who can no longer work the mines. Uh, he takes them to this uh, statue here where you have a man and a looks like a lion, a uh, human. And inside the statue is basically the history of their people. Now, while that's going on, they're asking for bring out the healer. And that's when Hawkman goes outside and he sees basically an army that's just waiting to, you know, listen to him and follow his every command. Now, if you look carefully on their, their torches, you'll see that they have the uh, white lantern symbol on them. Now, we go over to the hot girl, and she's just taking care of business, just just knocking people silly. And um, she does one-on-one uh, -on -one combat, and she's actually really doing a good job with this part. Now, we're about to get to some spoilers here, because uh, we get to find out who she is. So if you don't want to know, uh, now's a good time to stop. Now, right about here, you see that she's making reference to her father and her mother, so we turn turns up that's Hawk Girl's mom. And she gets knocked out. And then they're talking about the white light that came from her too. We go back to the Martians and basically they use their powers to look for an anomaly. And they find it in um, Star City. And that's where Martian Manhunter is going. Now this is the part that interests me here is uh, Black Man and Returns. I'm really curious to see what's going to happen with that. Now, overall, I, I'm, I like this issue. I'm still kind of torn with the... I mean, I like the Hawks storyline, but I'm kind of like waiting for it to get in, kicked into gear. Um, I, the, it's right on the edge, and that's why I'm like... I just want to... I want to see more battling. Um, other than that, I thought it was good. Um, the Martian side... I'm, I'm like hot and cold with it. Sometimes I'm into it, sometimes I'm not. And uh, right now I'm kind of wavering because I, I just wanted to get, I, I just want the stories to move a little bit more. Um, I do like the fact that now we're actually seeing multiple pages dealing with these characters rather than just the two, two or three pages that we used to get. Um, I thought the art was good. And overall, like I said, I think the Brightest Day stories has been interesting. I'm very curious to see how everything's going to play out in the end. Especially, I'm curious to see if somebody, what would happen if somebody were to fail their mission. Uh, if you have any uh, questions or comments, feel free to leave it on the side. Uh, what did you guys think of these two stories? Which one did you like more? I, even though I, I, I was kind of harsh on the Hawks storyline a little bit, the Hawks is the, my favorite of these two so far. Uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll have uh, more reviews up. So until next time.